Hello, I'm William Gallagher, this is 58 Keys, and wouldn't it be great to have some time at home to write? Okay, uh, this uh, coronavirus confinement, it isn't the idyllic writing retreat you might have hoped for. Uh, it's time, perhaps it's perhaps it's a lot of time really, but it's also time under pressure. It's hard not to just spend the time worrying, isn't it really? Here's a way that might help you uh, get yourself writing, get your mind off things. Uh, cheat. Distract. Distract yourself and distract yourself with the technology you've already got. You've got this Mac, this iPhone or this iPad. I will never say that they are anything less than amazing tools for writers to use, but they are also fun for us to play with. So let's play. But let's play this way. Whatever app or apps you currently use for writing, try something else. Try several somethings else's. I actually have some uh, 58 Keys episodes uh, coming up already, uh, already made that delve, delve into very specific things like this. But yes, they go into detail and there's plenty to say. But right now, it, it doesn't feel like a time to do that, does it? It feels like a time to just play around a bit. So go to the iOS App Store, go to the Mac App Store, go direct to some app developers' websites and tell yourself that you're doing important writing research. OK, look more seriously at me. And then while you're doing it, try out these apps in particular. Let me start with Scrivener. Uh, this is for novelists. It's for nonfiction writers. It's really for anyone who does long form writing. And it, it's also secretly a script writing tool. But you'll find that out as you play. Uh, get this one from the developer's uh, own website at literatureandlatte.com. Isn't that just a great name for a company? Scrivener at literatureandlatte.com. Dot com. Uh, next, Drafts. This is actually what I use most often at the moment. Drafts for Mac is great. Drafts for iOS is superb. So it's on the iOS and Mac app stores, but uh, check it out on getdrafts.com instead, the developer's own website, for more details. Because if I start to tell you about it, well, we'll be here all day. Um, Next up, IA Writer. Go to IA.net and have a look at this plain text writer for Mac and iOS. This is one actually that I haven't used this in quite a while. Uh, so in fact, it's the one that I'm going to go back to trying out with once you and I have finished talking today. Uh, then Ulysses. Compared to IA Writer, I spent a good two years solidly writing everything in Ulysses. I might even still be using it if drafts hadn't come to the Mac and I so love drafts. Ulysses, uh, it's on the Mac App Store, it's on its own website at ulysses.app, and it's also in Setup. Now, Setup, uh, I've got to tell you about this, because it's not a writing app. Officially, it's 15 writing apps, and 100 or more other Mac apps. Setup is a subscription service, I'm sure you've heard of it, that gets you all of these apps, and it does claim to have 15 writing apps specifically. It certainly has 15 apps in its writing and blogging category, but actually a fair few are PDF editors, document scanners, all sorts of interesting things, but you know, nothing wrong with them. They're not writing tools. Uh, counting on my fingers, I make it that there are really five actual writing apps, but isn't that good? For one fee, you get to try five. Oh, and also this, this isn't writing either, but Tech Soap. Got to try Tech Soap. I use this a lot when I'm writing on appleinsider.com. Uh, specifically, it strips out my smart quotes, you know, the 66 and 99s that the web should be able to cope with, but so often doesn't. Um, TechSoap comes with, it sorts that out, comes up with countless other tools for sorting out all sorts of text problems. I love TechSoap, and it's right there in Setup now. Setup costs about 10, 10 bucks a month or so. Uh, two last things, two more things that aren't in Setup, and which I think are, well, at least very good. Let me start with Pages. If you're not already using Pages on your Mac or your iOS device, take a minute, try it. Pages gets a bad rap for quite a good reason. Microsoft wants you to know how clever Word is, so it shows you every tool for writing you could ever imagine, every writing or text issue that you can't imagine. It's all in there, in your face, in Word, all the time. Apple wants you to be able to get on with your writing. So every tool you could imagine is instead hidden away in Pages. Now, Pages is definitely not as powerful as Word, but the fact that it keeps the options and tools out of your way does make a lot of people think that it doesn't have those features, that it doesn't have many features at all, and it truly does. So try Pages. And now the last one. 
I have loved all of the apps that I've told you about, even as I try different ones, even as uh, different ones have suited me better at different times. But there is one that is permanently with me, Omni Outliner. I'm not even someone who likes outlines, but this is like an idea outliner, an idea manager. It's an organiser for text, for events, for planning or thinking out anything that's complicated and, and needs some work, needs some thought. I love it so much, I already did an entire 58 Keys episode on it. Do take a look. I'll have a link in the description below. Not as if you haven't got time to watch. Those are such strange days. I am looking forward to the future when I'm searching back through YouTube and 58 Keys episodes and I'm having to remember what is this all about? What is this coronavirus thing? That'll be good. Um, while you are looking like me to fill the odd moment, though, do please do that YouTube-y thing of, of subscribing and liking. That helps me. It's like human contact between us. Thank you for watching. Take care now, and I'll see you soon.